Hi, this is Peter Buswell from drvoip.com with another tech tip. Today I'd like to talk to you about the exciting and powerful scripting tool called Change Profile. It's a very powerful tool. And let's get started. So first thing you're going to do is log into the Shoreware director on the ECC and go to the System tab. On the System tab you will find uh, a number of other tabs, not the least of which is this one here called Call Profile. Call Profiles, as uh, described in the blog, define uh, holding places for variables that change during the processing of a telephone call. There are two types, the system mandatory and a user definable. This is where we go to define user um, specified call profiles. You're just going to hit the New button and you're going to go ahead and type uh, and go ahead and add your call profile. It's just a name uh, that will be referred to during your call processing activities. As you can see here, I've already created one called A code, another called route, and one called status. So let's take a look how we might use these inside a call processing application. Bringing up the scripting tool, let's go ahead and create a new script. 47. Here I'm going to drag the call profile icon out to the middle of the workspace. And this is a very powerful icon. I'll show you how to deal with it. You're going to go ahead and connect him up to your call. Uh, and then highlighting this guy, you'll notice that we have uh, two fields here, one called the call profile field and the other called the value. By right-clicking here, I can insert any of the previously defined user-definable call profile names or any of the mandatory system names. They'll be here in the list. If I wanted to select account code, I'd go ahead and select that. The other powerful capability here is that you sometimes use a call profile to change the direction that a call is going. So in other words, you want it to go to a particular service. In that case, I'm going to right click, I'm going to say insert, and one of the items on the list says service required. If you select that, all of the services you have defined in your system will pop up and you can go ahead and select the one that you want. and when your call hits this change call profile, it's going to go ahead and change uh, the direction of this call and send it on to this service. So let me show you a couple of uh, previously defined scripts and walk you through how they work and how we put them together. So uh, I have one called IVRD and IVRD begins here with a play file icon. So the call comes in, hits this icon. Down here we select the WAV file that we want to play when the call hits this icon. And that's selected off uh, the IVR prompts that you previously created. This one might say something like, thanks for calling, please enter your account code, please enter your six digit account code. I've previously defined a call profile named A code and I've gone ahead and selected here. So when they call in, they enter six digits. Those six digits are going to be saved in this call profile called A code. I've set some parameters like uh, how many times they can retry and how long before you time out. And I've also said that I expect six digits. I could put a variable number of digits and tell them to terminate with a pound key, but I, I want six digits and uh, some housekeeping like clear D, TMF on stop, etc. So the call comes in, hits here, the play uh, file icon prompts for six digits. We then take that six digits and using a true-false uh, logic branch, we're going to test and see if the customer entered a particular code. In this case, these digits indicate in this application that that is a known customer of a known value, perhaps a platinum customer or a silver customer. And what we're doing is saying if, if the value they entered as a number is equal to this, that's a true result. And go ahead and um, send that call on its way. And by the way, I want you to 
also declare that the service required is this particular uh, service and that there's a variable called route that we defined in the call profile definition and I want to set that to six. So as this call goes about its way, it's carrying with it this little billboard that says I need um, this particular service and my route uh, value is six. If this value were in fact false, we'd branch down to this icon, the change, uh, change script icon, and here you'll see that I'm saying if this value is false, let's go ahead and run this dealer status script. Let me take you to the dealer status and take a look at how that works. This one's a little more complex. It's basically a SQL dip, but it does use the change uh, call profile icon. So let me show you how we've set this up. Call comes in to our SQL database connector, which says go out here to uh, a connection named um, ECC test. And when you get there, I want you to query that database with a SQL query um, that uh, we've named the quarry, uh, we've named a database connector, and we've also created a small SQL quarry statement, a very simple one. It says select from a database named dealer where agent ID is equal to A code. Keep in mind, A code was entered at the system prompt to enter your six-digit account number. We're now carrying that value in the bucket call profile bucket called a code and when we activate and run this SQL we expect two values to be returned from that database one value is uh, called route and the other one is called status and what I'm saying here in call profile and column again I just right clicked it insert and selected uh, route off the list and I'm saying return a value called route and stick it in this bucket same thing with status. Stick it in the call profile bucket name status. And at that point, we'll go ahead and disconnect from our database. And once again, we'll, we'll do a true uh, false uh, um, statement here. And basically, I'm looking for platinum people. So if the status, which is a call profile variable that we selected here, if that status as a string variable is equal to the word platinum, then that's a true statement and I want you to, uh, I need to insert, select, service required, and select, I want to send this call to this particular service. Keep in mind that when that call goes to that service, it's going to take with it certain call profile variables that we have set. Might include the system uh, um, define profile for priority. It may also include, in this case, status and route information. If it's false, uh, um, then I want to uh, run this IVR uh, DM value. Uh, this is a script, another script. So if it's true, do this. If it's false, do this. If it's true, use the change call profile to go get me another service. If it's uh, false, uh, run this script and uh, um, send the call on to the IVR DM. I take a look at that. That script is interesting in as much as we now use a logic switch to um, examine the call profiles that we collected when we did our database dip. And basically we're saying here, if the call profile value for route as a number is equal to 02, then follow the path for zero here and send the call off. Again, a change call profile icon that says, uh, I need a different service here. So um, we've looked at how to combine the logic tree the change call profile icon and the change script icon to do some truly remarkable and powerful call manipulations. In the words of Charlie Daniels in his new TV commercial, that's how it's done, son. Uh, I hope you have found this interesting and valuable, and I thank you for viewing.